Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Six Sigma by MBV Mohit Sharma. Today I am going to talk about a very important topic of Lean Six Sigma and the topic of discussion is P chart. P chart is attribute control chart and before I go ahead and talk about what is a P chart and how it can be created in Minitab, let us quickly revise what is a control chart. The control chart is a graph used to study how a process changes over time. A control chart always has a center line for the average, an upper line for the upper control limit and a lower line for the lower control limit. So we can call it a time series plot with control limits. The control limits are plus minus three standard deviation from the central line. This is how a control chart looks like. The central line is the average line, which is the green line. And this is the upper control limit, which is called UCL. And this is the lower control limit. It is also called as LCL. Control chart is used to check whether the process is in statistical control or not. If all these dots are within these two control limits, then the process is in statistical control. If any data point which goes outside these control limits, it means the process is not in statistical control at that very point. So attribute charts are of four types. And before we go ahead and study all these uh, attribute charts, let us remember these two things. The first thing is the difference between a defect and a defective unit. Defect is the output which is not meeting customer requirement and defective unit is a product which is having one or more than one defect into it. Sometimes our customer monitors us on defective units and sometimes they monitor us on defects. So when they are monitoring us on defects, the charts are different and when they are monitoring us on defective units, the charts are different. The other thing that you need to remember is the lot size. If we have a constant lot size or a variable lot size. What is the constant lot size? So for example, if the quality team is monitoring 50 transactions every day, it means it is a constant lot size. And in the variable lot size case, the quality team is monitoring 5% of the transactions processed every day. If you have processed 1000 transactions today, quality team will monitor 50 transactions. If the team has processed 1100 transactions, then the quality team will monitor 55 transactions. It means the lot size is varying every day. If we are being monitored on defects and we have constant lot size, we use C chart. If we are being monitored on defective units and we have constant lot size, we, are, we will use NP chart, defects and variable lot size, U chart defectives and variable lot size is P chart. In today's video, we will discuss and learn how to create P chart. So let us go to Minitab and understand this better. Friends, I have data of defective units and total transactions in Minitab. So if you look at my column C1, it has defective units. And if you look at column C2, it has total transactions. And now if you can see these transactions are varying. So it is a variable lot size. For example, on 1st of March, we had 300 transactions processed out of which 12 defects were there. And on 2nd of March, we had 350 transactions processed and we had 13 defects. So if you look at column C2, it is varying. And the path that we should follow is stat, control charts, attribute charts, and P chart. And select defective units in variable. If you double click on this column, it will be selected automatically. And Select total transactions in subgroup size. Double click on it to select. And click OK. So if you look at this graph, the upper red line is called upper control limit and the lower red line is called the lower control limit. And these dots represent the percentage of defects. P chart means proportion chart. If you look at sample number eight, which is going out of the control limit, if I come back and look at this, it is 54 defects in 398 transactions process, way out of what the other data is. At this point, the process was not in statistical control. You need to go back to the process and understand from them why you had very high number of defects on this particular day. If you look at this control chart, the control limit is not a straight line here, which you could see in other control charts. Because the sample size is varying, the control limit also goes up and down. So in my next video, I will talk about how to compare two data sets in the same chart like before the project what was the defect percentage and how it is after the project 
so friends i hope you would have understood how and when to create p chart if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos thank you so much for watching <music>